gather around the table once again for another session of Dungeons and Dracvus. And I know that it's Monday, but today we're going to be taking on uh, things a little out of order, as we have a little bit of business to take care of in Dungeons and Dracvus. Now, last time we were here in the Molten Front, this was a very different territory. It has since changed quite a bit. And you might be asking yourself, Drac, why are we here? There's a little bit of unfinished business to take care of, and now that I've done enough dailies to be able to unlock it, I wanted to be able to showcase this aspect. Uh, people might remember way back when I did my Firelands and Molten Front uh, coverage, there was a little bit of story I talked about that has to be worked for, and that is regarding the Flame Druid Leara, who actually, if you remember from way back in those videos, uh, assaulted and almost killed Arc Druid Hamel Rune Totem. And let me just put things in perspective before we get started with this quest. Like, it left Hamul in really rough shape. So we'll just go ahead and step out. So much so that you actually had to help him. That was actually part of the dailies that you had to take on, was to help with his care and take care of his bandages. And you needed to get specific ointments and things like that to help him. Um, unfortunately, yeah, there we go. It actually took a second. So this is... This is Arc Druid Hamel Rune Totem. Now, it's definitely not its height, but this was basically what players had for the longest time of, uh, this is how badly injured he is. In fact, he has a Dordanen Nightweaver, who is his attendant, uh, taking care of him. This is the guy you actually did all the dailies with. So, yeah, not a good sign, and a lot of players, including myself, wanted revenge for Hamel. And you have to go through a, quite a number of the dailies to be able to do it, but the time has come, so let's go ahead and talk to Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage, as he has the quest that we are looking for. How may I aid you? So into the depths. They are a husband spotted in the igneous depths. A group of shadow wardens has cornered her. Go there immediately. I will join you as soon as I make one necessary preparation. Nature stands with you. It's time for Leara to answer for her crimes, and they are big ones as she. Uh, almost try to bring about the end of the world by unleashing the Firelands upon us, as well as almost killing Arc Druid Hamel Rune Totem. So, we are in the Molten Front right now, and a lot of people might be curious as to what made all these changes. As you go along, you earn a currency called Marks of the World Tree. That is what you need to turn in, and you basically get goals to be able to earn vendors, to be able to earn this Ancient of the Lore, or Ancient of Lore, uh, General Taldus Moonfall, and eventually you befriend the Druids of the Talon and the Wardens to be able to come and help your cause. And as you go along, this area starts to grow. So we're not going to worry too much about this, but this is the Molten Front, and as we step out into the Ashen Fields, we are going to confront the Flame Druid, Leara. And, uh... Make her answer for her crimes of almost killing Hamel, uh, almost unleashing the Firelands upon Azeroth. There are lots to answer for, and here is the Shadow Wardens that were cornering her. So we'll go ahead and step into the Igneous Depths. And in the center, appropriately enough, is Leara. So let's go ahead and take care of her. Leara, we are here! Oh, and you're, you're properly cornered. Okay, well, time I to die. I you might come. You've proven very persistent. Annoyingly so. It is time to be rid of you. You say that, and then I just do this, and I win. And it's not its not even cool, man. You'll never know, Malfurion. I want to make sure that we trigger all the events, because there's actually a really cool moment here. Oh, geez, that's, that's a pretty big fire geyser. Come on, 5%. Almost done. 3%. Oh, oh no. Gotta move. Oh. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we finished her too fast, but. I'm sorry that I did not arrive sooner. Though you seem to have held your own quite well. I, sh I should have uh, gone a little bit slower. You back, Hummel. Let us leave this place. We'll okay. Meet you back in camp. So if you go slow enough in this fight, because it was built around Cataclysm, you would eventually have Hummel, a now 
somewhat restored Hommel come and help you in the fight. Unfortunately, we beat her too quick. Uh, I probably shouldn't have used my Strike of the Wind Lord, but yeah, and even eventually Malfurion would help you out on this, and it kind of set things up for Firelands because in the heroic Ragnaros encounter, Hamul helps as well as uh, Malfurion and Cenarius. So kind of like the way things ended in, not Valshara, I, I want to say Valshara, but no, uh, kind of how things ended in Hyjal. And you now get the Hamul model, which is, I'm not saying it's bad looking, I, I like it, but it's definitely reflective of his injuries. Thankfully in later entries, they, they put him back to his uh, appropriate armor, but it did make sense at the time why his armor had to change. Uh, so let's see, you have Santa Stormrunner, Jared Shadowsong, Malfurion Stormrage. Oh, he might actually be out in the world. Let me talk to uh, Malfurion, maybe he'll come out. But yeah, we have killed Layara, so the day is saved, roughly. Reasons. That doesn't seem like much, right? Well, there's more to it. So, into the depths. Layara's tale is a tragic one. It pains me that it came to this. Staghel must be stopped before he drags anyone else down with him. So this basically gives you the achievement, uh, the legacy of Layara, which in turn gives you, oh, I can't even remember where the, the quest is actually given, but you can actually learn the story of Layara if you want to learn it. I think it's outside. So let's let's go back out to the uh, Shrine of Malorn, and that'll probably have it. But yeah, you. so a lot of people actually don't necessarily know this, but Leara has quite a story. Um, and that's what we're here today for, is we're, gonna, we're actually going to go into the legacy of Leara. And uh, it's a sad tale, but it needs to be told. So let's go ahead and go to uh, Malorn's Shrine, or Sanctuary. And, oh, is it you that gives it? How may I aid you? No, Rage Against oh, the Flames. Goodness. Oh, no. Is it not here? What the heck? I thought I got it. Uh, let's see. Crap. Maybe if we go back in, this will help. This is one of those things that's kind of frustrating about the Molten Front, is that you have to step out, back in. Sometimes you even have to wait a day uh, before things kind of fix themselves. Oh. Reina Feathersaw, are you... Nope, you are a daily. I do not want you. Crap, come on. Must protect the wild. May nature. How are we doing in the battle? Santa Stormrunner. Uh, hey, Ricket. How you doing? Nope. Crap. How are you doing? There are additional quest guys, I promise. Um, I could have sworn Hommel. Okay, so after a little bit of homework and a little bit of backtracking, you actually do have to wait for a mail to come to you from Teresa Barkskin. And this gives us an interesting smoke-stained locket. So, I found this locket in the igneous depths near the lava's edge. It is not mine, and I know that it does not belong to either of the Arc Druids. Perhaps it belonged to one of the Fire Druids. No matter who's its owner, I have no use for it. Please, take it as a small token of our appreciation for all you've done for us. So, we take the smoke-stained locket, and we'll get rid of that mail because we don't need it, and this actually starts up a quest. A smoke-stained locket. This locket has a few small leaf-shaped carvings etched onto its face, but any other details have been rubbed away with time or burned away with fire. It appears to be druidic in nature. Most druids pass through Moonglade during their training. If anybody can help you decipher where this locket came from, it would be Rabin Saturna of Nighthaven. Okay, so... This is actually going to take us on a quest for a lot of people. A lot of people might not necessarily know this, but there's actually a lot of uh, a lot of lore and history to the character Leara, and that's what this quest is for. This quest teaches you that. Um, she actually had a very close relationship with Arc Druid Fandral Staghelm, who later became Major Domo Staghelm, and in turn, we're actually going to go ahead and go through this quest live. Uh, for you guys, and that's why I'm doing it on Monday, because I wanted to be able to get it done, uh, and we will come back with the Tale of Draku on Wednesday this week. So, oh, I want to make sure that I'm going the right direction, because again, it's in Moonglade, and I'm not on a druid. So, that becomes a problem. <laughs> Very quickly on, uh, Felwood is over here. Okay. I might actually, let's go to Kalimdor really quick, so that's Mount Hyjal. 
Fellwood, Ashenvale. Is it even on here anymore? Would not be surprised. It's actually probably further to the north. Yeah, because it was connected to Winter Spring. So we're going to go ahead and fly through Winter Spring. We'll probably fly not so high up so you guys can appreciate it. So this is kind of the border between Winter Spring and Fellwood. And if you go further north, uh, you go to an area that was pretty much an order hall before order halls even existed. Uh, back in Classic WoW, there were very few ways to be able to get here unless you were a druid, and that is Moonglade. Moonglade is kind of what took over for Valshara later on. <clears throat> like, when, when we came back to Valshara, then we could go to the ancient place of druidism. But until then, <laughs> um, all druids had was Moonglade. That's where they actually a lot of your quests to learn animal forms and all that stuff used to exist in the Classic WoW. So I want to make sure we, we still stay on track. Uh, let's see. I think we're still on track. Unless that's... Is that... That's probably Moonglade. Okay. Again, it's really hard to find because unless you're a druid and you get a direct teleport here, nobody else gets that. You had to kind of manually travel here. There were really no ways to be able to get flight. I mean, there are flight paths, but you have to find them. Um, there wasn't really any lead-in to coming to Moonglade. It wasn't a legitimate questing zone. That's why I say it's an it was an order hall before order halls. Um, because only druids really had any reason to come here unless uh, later on they did add a, another reason for people to come to Moonglade in one of the holidays. But that was it. Nobody really had a, a reason to come here. But this is the sacred place of the druids before we return to Valshara, the home of druidic lore. So, now that we are here in Moonglade, you can see it's kind of sparse. It's a very small zone, and a lot of it's just built around uh, druids. So, we'll come over here to Rabin Saturna and talk to him. I am honored. Yes, young blood elf. I have this locket. What over here? A necklace? No, a locket. Oh, my. Okay. Unlocking the secrets within. The initials seem to have worn off of this locket, but I can sense a power within it that suggests only one possible owner, Layara, the Druid of the Flame. Stand back, and we shall see what surprises this locket contains. Okay. The memories in this locket swirl in anguish, such pain and suffering. Let us see what it wants to show us. Who is this? That looks like Valstan, Fandral Staghelm's only son. What is he doing? Is this a memory of the Karaji War? It is. The Great War of Silithus raged over a thousand years ago. Valstan tried to save his people, but was captured and killed. Breathe your last! Oh, this is terrible. Why would Leara cling to this memory? Valstan must have been an important part of her life. Okay, before we claim this quest, I do need to do a little bit of backtracking because I covered this, but way back in the classic Dungeons and Dracfus when we took on the Silithus content or the uh, Young Karaj content. Um, in the now uh, more 10 man dungeon rather than raid, it used to be a 10 man raid. Uh, the ruins of Ankiraj ho hosted a boss by the name of General Regax. Regax actually killed the only son of Archdruid Fandral Staghelm, which you just barely saw, Valstan. And that actually led to a lot of the madness that led Fandral to eventually become Major Domo Staghelm. But apparently, Valstan's death has also affected Leara, so let's find out why. Can I assist you? If Leara bore witness to the War of the Shifting Sands, then it seems likely she knew Fandral and his late son Valstan far more closely than any of us suspected. It would seem that your journey does not end here, Drakfu. A okay, tragedy and family. You were insightful to bring this locket to me, Drakfu. I am among the few who know where Valstan's body lays. You could find his resting site in a small graveyard southeast of Astronar in Ashenvale. Bring this locket to the site, and it may unlock more memories. Farewell, Drakfu. And good luck on your journey. Good luck. So we need now to go to Ashenvale to the city of Astronar. Now, the problem is Alliance players get easy access to Astronar. It's actually a questing hub for them. 
Horde ones don't really get that, so we're gonna have to do a manual flying uh, past Fellwood and even Winter Spring back to Ashenvale. Uh, I could technically take a flight path, but mm, we're not too far off. So that's an interesting case, and I might even put some additional lore segments in the description below, just kind of explaining the story of Fandral Staghelm, as well as uh, I think Nobble's got a video on the War of the Shifting Sands. For those who don't know what the War of the Shifting Sands is, it's basically the lore that leads up into Ankiraj. Uh, originally, the Karaji declared war, and the Night Elves, teaming with uh, various dragon flights, were able to contain them within Ankiraj and seal it uh, for thousands of years. And in the meantime, there were casualties such as Valstan Staghelm that uh, unfortunately lay as scars for for the Night Elf race uh, until many, 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 many years later when the ancient Karaji Scarab, uh, the Scarab Gong was, crap, I'm not even saying this right. The Scarab Door was opened and Ankiraj was opened so that we could then go in and take care of not only the Karaji threat, but also the old god Cthun, who was their master. So that was a, a major reason for us to be there, but uh, along, the, uh, along the way, we came across Falstan's murderer, General Regax, and we put an end to him too. <sighs> there's, there's tons of lore there, and now we're actually going to go a little bit deeper because we're going to find the grave of Falstan. Now, I'm not really explaining it too clearly, hence why I'm going to put a video in there, but Falstan's death affected Fandral very heavily. So much so that when you get into the novel Storm Rage, um, it basically drives him to insanity. And that's how the uh, old god Nazoth uh, was able to take a hold of him via the Emerald Nightmare to uh, get him to basically take Teldrassil, the tree that the Night Elves start out with in World of Warcraft, uh, and corrupt it. And so at that point, Fandral was very much against uh, Night Elf society. He even made it so that Malfurion had to stay in the Emerald Dream and uh, confined him there so that Malfurion couldn't stop what was happening. And his insanity eventually led him to the Fire Lord Ragnaros, where he then became his major domo and uh, did a lot of very nasty things, including the fact of trying to uh, basically curse Thrall by ensnaring him in the elements that he used. As you guys saw in the, uh, the, oh, call, uh, the Call of the World Shaman quest line that we also did. <coughs> okay, we are currently in Fellwood. We didn't actually uh, explore this too much in uh, the Tale of Drakfu, but Fellwood holds significant purpose as it was once a part of Ashenvale that got corrupted by demon influence. Uh, now it's not that, uh, it's, <laughs> it's still around, excuse me, it's still around, but it's very fell touched hence why it's called Fellwood. Uh, it's got a lot of fell in there and a lot of demon influence. Uh-oh, there we go. As you can see, a lot of the trees are very much affected, uh, by the fell corruption within it. And in fact, that's actually where uh, Illidan Stormrage claimed the Skull of Gul'dan and became his demony form that we've all seen in Legion. So here we are in Ashenvale. We're just making our way to Astronar. Now, again, Astronar is contended territory, so we're going to have to play really... Uh, well, we, we might be okay, but I, I really don't want to get flagged for PvP if I don't have to be. Okay, so I'm going the right direction. We're going to pass over Astronar and probably get a little bit of damage. And that'll be just fine. So here's Hellscream's watch, and across the way, you can actually see the Night Elf village of Astronar. So I believe it's in Astronar. No, it's not. Thankfully, we won't have to worry about any of that. We just need to go and find a secluded graveyard where Valstan, Valstan Staghelm's body lay. And it's right here. So, boom. And actually, the, the interesting part is, like, you can... I believe back in classic World of Warcraft, some of these had markings to say who they were, but his didn't. I think it was an unknown soldier kind of thing. Uh, so here we go. The grave is old, peaceful, and undisturbed. Present the smoke-stained locket. Time passes. Yet the sting of his death will not fade. 
All's done. My dear husband, you left us too soon. Our child has been born. It's a girl, a beautiful baby girl. I named her Astaria. She has your eyes. Leara, the two of you are all I have left. I swear to you, on my life, you and my granddaughter will always have my protection. That's an interesting promise to make, considering he pretty much abandoned them near the end. Uh, tragedy and family. If the vision is to be believed, Leara's ties to the Staghelm family were quite strong. It's no wonder that she clung so fiercely to Fandral's new order of flame. The tipping point. On the day when Leara attacked Hummel, she was waiting near some ruins in Hyjal, northwest of the regrowth. She acted strangely at the time, calm, silent, and staring off into the distance. Perhaps that location is of, is of some importance to her. The locket might react if brought to that location. Okay, so we're going to be bouncing back out into Hyjal. Thankfully, Mount Hyjal is not too far off. But basically, we're going to go to the same place where we had the encounter with Hamul and she nearly burned him to death. But there's a couple of things that are interesting of that. Valstan was Leara's husband. And they had a child. So that adds even more to it, uh, including the introduction of Istaria Staghelm. And again, the, the statements of Fandral are interesting. Like these, um, what is it he said? Uh, the two of you are all I have left. I swear to you on my life, you and my granddaughter will always have my protection. And uh, not so much. Nah, he eventually turned on the world in a very vicious way. Oh, crap. This is kind of the problem with going to Hyjal, is that uh, eventually you hit the Sky Dome of Ashenvale. Here we go. So we just got to keep on going up. Thankfully, we're not too far off from Hyjal. Okay, we are back in the regrowth, and we have now arrived at Leara's Sorrow. So, let's go ahead and use the smoke-stained locket and see what happens here. So, there's a small gravestone. While this, certainly, uh, while this is certainly a grave marker, it is unclear who is buried here. I tried to save you, Astaria, but I was too weak. Vandral would never have allowed the Horde to attack our home. And who did Malfurion send to defend us? No one. Your anger is not misguided. Who's there? One who shares your pain. One who offers you the power to assuage it. Vandral! You escaped from prison? I was rescued by some new allies. I'm sorry I was not here sooner. What is this power? What have you become? You will learn in due time, my daughter. Come with me. Together we will bring vengeance to those who have wronged us. So that's interesting. Istaria, the daughter of Valstan and Leara, is dead. And it was enough to be a tipping point for her to join the now Druid of the Flame, Fandral Staghelm, on his journey. First Valstan, now this. The rest is history. In her memories, Leara spoke of Malfurion. The tragedies of her past, at least in her opinion, are largely due to his actions. Malfurion must remember Leara from before she became a Druid of the Flame. You resolve to bring the locket to, to him in the Firelands. Hopefully he can answer any remaining questions. So, we're going to head back into the Molten Front. Thankfully, we're not too far off from it. And see if we can get these answers. So... This is not necessarily the first time we've had that issue with Malfurion. Unfortunately, his commitments to the Emerald Dream and to uh, Dru the Call of the Druid, roughly, they've, they've landed Malfurion in some pretty tough spots. I've actually been kind of surprised uh, at Tyrande in a lot of cases. She has the patience of a saint. I was actually happy that got addressed in the, the Storm Rage novel. Is she has the patience of a saint, considering his commitments. And uh, she never complains about it. So it's an interesting tale. 
she easily could have picked him over, uh, picked Illidan over him just because of ha his commitments. Well, let's go ahead and step into the Firelands. Or at least the Molten Front and talk to Malfurion about this. What on earth does he know about Leara? Hello. How may I aid you? My heart is heavy with the burden of the sword, so the rest is history. Yes, I knew Leara. And I was aware of her anger even before she joined the Druids of the Flame. She was a promising young Druid once. Unfortunately, the bonds of family are often stronger than the power of reason. And ultimately, she chose to follow Fandral down this te treacherous path. You should keep this locket, Drakfu. May it remind you that each of us walks our own path through life. And that some paths are easier than others. And so for that, you actually do get this as a toy, which basically uh, lets you turn into a Druid of the Flame, whether it be male or female, reflecting your, your gender, I believe. With you. uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think he actually gets any uh, vocal moments, but he knew who Leara was, but unfortunately didn't know too much about her. And that's, what, that's why I wanted to be able to tell the story. It's, it's a story of grief, but it's also one that we can tell Fandral used to be able to get one of his most confident lieutenants in the Druids of the Flame. Uh, but it took losing her husband and eventually her daughter to turn her down this path, and eventually to almost killing another prominent Arc Druid, one that she probably respected at one point. Because um, I believe it's also in other lore stated that Leara was on the Druidic path before this. So at that point, like, she would have known Hommel and, and known that he was an Arc Druid and that is a, a title of power. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's one of those little bits of lore that I wanted to be able to share with you guys, kind of like Call of the World Shaman, because it just adds so much flavor to the world as a whole. And I think it's only appropriate that we kind of end on the legacy, or on the uh, Locket of Leara. And I believe I already have it in here, so I just got to track it down. It's in my toys now, so I should have had this prepped. I know. Uh, let's see. This is missed, so it would be in Cataclysm. Boom, 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 boom. Nope. Crap, I don't have it here. Well, we could fix that. Boom. Oh, no, already known. Okay, well, let's find it. So... Leara's locket. There we go. So it's only appropriate that we end as a druid of the flame. And uh, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for your continued love, support, and patience. And on Wednesday this week, we're going to be doing the uh, continuation of the Tale of Drakfu. But until then, we'll see you next time. Oh, and stay tuned next week as Dungeons and Drakfu's, well, isn't done with Cataclysm. I actually forgot one. So we'll take that one on next week. See you then.